know, our people are not uh, highly educated. It's not the, uh, like in the West, you know, where everybody goes to school and at least people go to, you know, finishes, I think, primary or even, uh, even middle school. Here, well, the generation, uh, at my generation, for example, uh, not many people went to school. But, uh, you know, the state budget for education is very, very minimal compared to other countries, even in Southeast Asia. So, you know, it affects the entire family. The kids can't go to school because they're working in the fields. Parents cannot afford to pay the dollar fifty to two dollars and fifty cents for a uniform for their child to go to school. If they're too far from the village school that they can't walk, there's no money for a bicycle. The kids that are here at the museum whose parents are landmine victims make less than $50 a month and they are working as hard as they can. And since uh, the Khmer Rouge uh, uh, were ousted, the country was faced with uh, uh, practically only uneducated people because the educated ones were killed by the Khmer Rouge. They didn't want any uh, educated people to live because they feared they would be enemies. All right. So only the ignorant ones, peasants, those who were really uh, farmers or absolutely non-educated survived. Who has that but I think what she really wants from the children is A, to have the ability to, you know, to have the dual language of English and Khmer because she thinks that will help them, particularly, you know, in terms of job acquisition, you know, getting jobs. Um, and I think she wants to educate them in that real freer way of giving them opportunities. I think that's quite special, the fact that she has the range from um, in the main school of fee-paying students and children who can't afford fees, which I think is very unusual here to have that range. If you would really like, you know, to help Cambodia or those countries, please help educate the children. Education is the most important thing and it will give a future to the kids, to the country and also to mankind.